Dark mode support has become one of the most common features of modern websites. It turns out that if you use Tailwind to style your website, then it's super easy to support it. In this video, we'll see how to set this up. So here I have a simple Next.js website that's meant to be a landing page for a dummy design conference. And as you can see on the code on the right, all the elements here are styled using Tailwind and Tailwind classes. The first thing we are going to do is to specify how we want each of these elements to be styled in a dark mode. Now, Tailwind makes this super easy. All you need to do is add a dark modifier to the front of Tailwind classes, and those will be recognized by Tailwind as only being enabled when in dark mode. So let's take, for example, this logo in the top left corner of the page. So I'm gonna go find it here in the code, this H1, and all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna specify that in dark mode, I want this text to be white. Now, if I hit save, you'll notice that the text already changes to white. And this is because by default, if you don't tell Tailwind anything else, Tailwind will automatically enable the dark mode styling based on your browser settings. So in this case, on my computer, I have dark mode enabled at the system level and Tailwind sees that and therefore applies the dark mode styling. Now let's go ahead and quickly just do this for some of the other elements on the page as well. I'll start first with the background here of the page and in dark mode, give it a darker background color. Next on these paragraph tags, I will give it a different text color here, a little bit lighter for legibility. I'll copy this for this paragraph as well. And then finally, for these elements down here, I will make this text color lighter as well. So for this, I have a custom component down here. So we'll set the text color to a lighter color in dark mode as well. And so if you wanted to stop there, boom, you have dark mode support based on the system settings. Now let's take this a step further and give some manual control for toggling dark mode on and off to the user. Now Tailwind supports this by looking for a specific class in the DOM tree and based on if that class is added or not, it will turn on dark mode. So to enable this feature, we need to go into the Tailwind config file. And here at the bottom, we just need to turn on this dark mode configuration. So here I just need to say dark mode and give it a value of class. So this is telling Tailwind, okay, enable dark mode based on the presence of a specific class. And you can see when I hit save, it went back to light mode. So it didn't automatically turn on dark mode styling because of the system settings. Now, by default, what is a class name that Tailwind looks for? Well, it simply looks for the class name dark. So just to test this, what I'll do is in this parent div on everything, I'll add the class name dark. And now if I hit save, you can see that dark mode has now been turned on. If I remove it, dark mode is turned off. So to give manual toggling of dark mode, we just need to dynamically add or remove this dark class from the div. So let's go ahead and do that. First, I'll go ahead and create a button for the user to click on to enable dark mode. Let's throw it here at the bottom. I'll give it a last name, position it absolute. I'm just gonna throw this in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Width of 16, height of 16, Give it some positioning for them bottom and right. In a light mode, I'll give it a dark background color. In a light mode, I'll give it a white background color so we can see it. I'll make it a circle, surround it full. Text will be white. In a dark mode, text will be black. And I'll give it font semi bold. Okay, and there we go. The button shows up in the bottom right. For now, I will just add some text here dark without the quotes. There we go. Now we have this button. Now, right now the button doesn't do anything, but let's connect this up. So to track the state of whether dark mode is enabled or not, let's create a state variable on this component. Call this dark mode. Set dark mode and we'll use use state. Initially set it to false. Now we will connect the value of this state variable to the button. So I'll first create a function here called Toggle, toggle dark mode and simply say set dark mode to the opposite of whatever dark mode is currently. Then on this button, I will add a on click 
to this function we just created. And finally, I'll actually update the text here dynamically based on the value of dark mode. So if dark mode is turned on, we'll change the text to light. Otherwise, we'll make it dark. So what do we want to go towards? Now, if I click this button, you'll see that the text is changing, which means that the value of the variable is changing, but dark mode is actually not being enabled. And that's because we need to actually add the dark class dynamically to this div. So go ahead and do that. Dynamic string value here. So I'll just say dark mode. And if it's true, then let's add dark. So let's just go ahead and try this out. So currently light mode, if I hit the button, dark mode's tones are turned on. All the styling is updated, including this button. If I click it again, we go back to light mode. Now, the one thing you'll notice is when we transition from light to dark mode and back, it's pretty harsh and instantaneous, which is not the greatest, especially with the level of contrast that we're applying here from one state to another. So to quickly fix this, let's go ahead and add a couple of global styles that will animate all of these color changes. So for this, I'm gonna go into the globals.css file and I'll just say for all elements, I'm going to apply a couple of Tailwind classes. First, I'll say transition colors. So this will say that we should transition all color changes and I'll set the duration here to be 200. So now if we do a transition between dark and light mode, you'll see we get a nice smooth fading between the different stylings. So if you have any questions about dark mode, feel free to drop them down in the comments below. And another feature of great websites are optimized images. And Next Image is one of the best libraries for that. You'll want to check out this video on screen now to learn more about Next Image and how it can improve your page loading performance by up to 10x. And I will see you in the next video.